but every time I throw a leg over this motorcycle, there is a degree of fear. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. Just had to make a quick run to the grocery store, thought I'd check in, do a little motovlog, talk to you a little bit about my last motovlog. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cruise Man and I talk about Honda Goldwing and DIY tips. You'll find all this stuff on my channel mode of vlogging and how-to videos, product reviews, installation videos on various aftermarket accessories. So if that's interesting to you, you might want to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos and I try to do that a couple times a week. So anyway, I'm just out on the bike this morning. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and it is 83 degrees. It's pretty nice out today. Not much wind. In fact, there's no wind. And it's not as humid as it usually is. But it will get hot later today. It's going to get up to 98 today, so I like to get my riding in in the morning while it's cool if I can. Now, my last YouTube video, if some of you saw it, you probably uh, saw the vehicle pull over into my lane on State Highway 121 up near the colony. And many of you commented on that video. And some of you said it didn't look like he was very close to me. And that was actually by design. You're correct. Uh, as soon as I saw him slow down and start to come over into my lane without a signal, I might add, I immediately let off the throttle and applied the rear brake to slow down to let him in. Now, of course, I had to keep an eye behind me to make sure nobody was coming up on my ass and going to run into me. But I had plenty of room between me and the car behind me, so I went ahead and let that guy in. I didn't have much choice, really. He was coming over whether I let him in or not. It got me thinking, and many of you asked questions about motorcycle safety, and you made many comments about it. so. You know, it just got me thinking, maybe I'll talk a little bit about my viewpoints or my philosophy on riding a bike and things that I try to do to make this hobby or this sport, or in my case, a form of transportation, make it as safe as possible. And I think the first thing that came to mind when I started thinking about this topic was fear. And I think fear is a good thing. And I think if you don't have fear when you ride a motorcycle, uh, you're probably going to take risks that are unnecessary. You know, I saw a video last week uh, here in Dallas of some young guys or young kids on sport bikes going up and down the highway doing wheelies. And when I think about that, I think, you know, those, those kids have no fear. They're not afraid of anything. I would be terrified to do that. So in that case, the lack of fear, either fear of getting injured, or the fear of getting hurt, or the fear of getting arrested, or whatever it is, they just don't have that fear. And by not having that fear, it puts them at great risk. Because a lot of motorcyclists die in the Dallas-Fort Worth area during the summer. And oftentimes, it's these sport bike guys out there doing stuff, crazy stuff on the highway. I can still remember when I picked up my 2005 Sportster here in Carrollton back in 2005 and it's the first time I'd ridden a motorcycle since about 1978 and the 1200 Sportster was the biggest motorcycle I'd ever ridden as far as engine size and power and I remember that scared me but not only that, I can remember when I first pulled out into traffic on Old Denton here in Carrollton, and my girlfriend was following me in the car behind me, as I asked her to. I remember how scary it was, just the sense of being in traffic, 
the sound, the, the noise of the tires, the cars going, passing by, the wind, the sound of the wind. You know, it had been almost 30 years since I'd been exposed to something like that. And even then, uh, when I rode a bike before, it was in a small town, Midland, Texas, where you didn't have the traffic that you have here. So I can still remember being pretty fearful and couldn't wait to get home because I was riding an unfamiliar motorcycle. It was brand new. It had been 30 years since I'd ridden a motorcycle. And now I'm riding in traffic and doing all these things I'd never done before. But every time I throw a leg over this motorcycle, there is a degree of fear because riding in a big city in traffic can be scary and you have to always be on alert you always have to have your head on a swivel watching what other people are doing and I think the core of motorcycle safety is fear and if you don't have a degree of fear you're probably going to take risks that are unnecessary. Now maybe in my future motor vlogs I'll cover some different topics, things that I do that I think help to make riding safer. So I've been riding since 2005 when I got my uh, Harley Sportster and then in 2006 I got my first Goldwing. And since that time I've had four different Goldwings. I'm not sure what they got going on here with the traffic. But it looks like they've got all the roads blocked. So. Every single road in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. You can't go two miles on any road in Dallas-Fort Worth without seeing construction or at least those orange and white barrels set up. I'd give anything when I was in my 20s or 30s if I had gotten in the orange safety barrel business because whoever is selling those barrels to these construction companies or to the city is making a fortune because you literally can't go two miles in any direction here in Dallas-Fort Worth without seeing some sort of construction. Now, they're not always working on the roads, but they've got the lanes blocked off where you, you maybe you're down to one lane or two lanes depending on the road. So I think the core of riding safe is fear. That's, that's where everything starts. If you don't have some degree of fear or concern about riding, you're probably going to take unnecessary risks. So I personally think fear is a good thing. Now, there's a difference between there's a difference between having fear and being terrified. You can be you can have fear to the level of being terrified to ride a motorcycle and then you're going to be jumpy and and twitchy and if you hear one thing you'll jerk or do the wrong thing and that could be even more dangerous so there you want a level of fear but you don't want fear to the point that it's disabling or it keeps you from being able to ride or enjoy the ride you know I still enjoy riding even though I'm scared the hell of it Every, you know it scares the hell out of me to ride in traffic but I still enjoy it because I know I've taken steps to mitigate the risks as much as possible. So let me know down in the comments below if you want more content like this where I talk about what I do to try to ride safer. If you do, I'll be glad to, you know, include that as one of my topics in these motor vlogs because I'm always looking for things to talk about that you guys are interested in. So it's really a beautiful day today. I'm still trying out this GoPro Hero 7 Pro, getting some pretty good video with it. I've got it on the handlebar today, shooting back at me, and I've got my Hero Silver on my helmet, which is what I'm using for audio as well. Now I will be doing an interview with Don Smith, another Goldwing owner here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Next week we're getting together. And we're going to do, uh, he wants to interview me for his YouTube channel. And if you haven't been to his YouTube channel, you should check it out because he uses this Insta360 camera on his Goldwing and gets some really interesting video. Uh, the way it does that 360 degree video is really pretty cool. 
And I'd like to remind you once again, if you have products that you would like to see me do an installation or a review video of, it's okay to let me know, but please let the company know that makes the product, the vendor, email them and tell them that you want to see a Cruise Man's Garage video of their product. That has a much more impact than me trying to reach out to these companies and get them to send me their product for review or for installation. Now, you probably realize there's no way I can afford to buy every single aftermarket product for the Goldwing just so I can do an installation or review video. So I rely on these manufacturers and these vendors to send me their product so that I can review it and perhaps do an installation video. And I do reach out to them on a regular basis uh, to that end, but it has much more impact when you, as a potential customer, reach out to those companies and say, hey, I am a Cruise Man's Garage subscriber, and I'd love to see Cruise Man do an installation video of your product. I mean, you guys are an army of potential customers for these products. And so when I can do a video that can instantly reach several thousand Goldwing enthusiasts, it has a, a huge value to these companies. I'm still getting prepared to go to Wingding 41. My plan is to be at the trade show on the 28th. So any of you that would like to uh, meet up, I should be there. I don't know where I'm going to be yet as far as a booth or an entrance because I'm not familiar with that Nashville trade show floor space. But we'll come up with something and I will announce it in one of my motor vlogs coming up of where I'll be at Wingding on the 28th. Now I'll also be at the, I, or I'm planning to be at the welcome party on the 27th. I think it's the evening of the 27th where you pick up the packet and do all of that. So I'm planning to be at that as well. I know many of you have emailed me and many of you have uh, messaged me and in the comments of these videos saying you'd like to meet me and meet up. Well, we should have that opportunity either on the 27th or the 28th if you're going to be at Wingding 41 in Nashville. Now, I've laid out my route already on my on base camp and uh, we have planned three days to get from Dallas-Fort Worth to Nashville. And the reason I'm taking three days is because I'm going to spend one day, the, the last day, riding the Natchez Trace. And for those of you that have ridden the Natchez Trace, you know they have a very slow speed limit. I think it's 45 or 50 miles an hour is the speed limit. So, and I'm going to make some of the little cutoffs, and we're going to do motor vlogs of the Natchez Trace and all that. So it's going to take a little extra time. So our plan is to, the last day coming into Nashville, uh, we'll be going up the Natchez Trace. Just because it's been a while since I've done it. And we're going to take a pretty long route all the way up to Nashville. So it should be fun. So if you're going to be at Wingding 41, let me know in the comments down below. And you know, uh, actually the trade show at Wingding 41 would be an excellent place to go by some of the booths of these vendors and tell them you want a Cruise Man's Garage video. That's, a, that's one place where... Uh, you got all these vendors together in one place and if you have never seen a good review video of their product or a good installation video uh, That'd be a great place to hit up and reach out to some of these vendors because they're usually there and usually the owners of the companies are there I want to thank you for joining me today and letting me ramble on and I hope you join us again soon for the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.